Hey guys, uh, I hope you're all well. I finally did it. <laughs> I'm sure most of you have seen what I have done if you follow me on social media, but if you don't, then... Oh yeah, bitch. She got her neck tattoo, she got her neck tattoo. So I guess most of you are here to see what the hell I have done to myself um, in the best possible way. So yeah, this, bit of a surprise. Um, oh yeah, I, I, where do I even start? Oh my God. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys a close up. It is scabby and dry. There is hustle butter on it. Well, there was a few hours ago, but I've had a shower since, so it's come off a bit. But this comes down, so my bra is like there and like, yeah, tits. <laughs> so this comes down to my chest and like there's a flower there for a cover up. Um, so that was done um, on the first session of my blackout arm. Okay, so this goes, as you can see here, it goes up onto my chin. It goes all the way around on my jaw. If you guys can see that. Ugh, it's hard to show you guys. I should have had someone f help film me. It like goes all the way around to the back. I don't know if I'm showing you guys, but yeah, there's pictures on like Instagram and stuff. And, but yeah, look at this. Oh, bitch. And it just goes so well with my sleeve. But yeah, it's still healing, so it's a lot darker than the rest of it, obviously. But, okay, so this was all a bit of a whirlwind. Um, I got my neck tattooed on Friday the 6th of March, I think it was. And so... Let's do the long story. First of all, I know this is already all over the place, what's new? Go grab a snack, go grab a blanket, go grab your favorite drink, all right? Sit down, chill out, because this may be, um, it's just a whirlwind, just strap yourself in. So, how did this become, you wondering? Because I have been oomin' and ahhing about getting my neck tattooed for, well, I don't know, since I've been on YouTube. <laughs> I've always been like, oh, I don't know if I could do it, or I don't know if it's gonna suit me. And I did a video a while back of putting temporary tattoos on my neck and I was still like, oh, I don't know, but those temporary tattoos were pretty shit anyway, so what do you expect, Lauren? Yeah, I've been like, oh, I want to go up onto my neck, I want to continue my black work blast over sleeve um, up onto my neck because I've seen a few inspiration photos over the past few months, even before I got you know, this whole situation started and there's a subscriber um, that watches my videos called Emily and I met her a couple of times and she has the most sickest arm, sleeve, neck tattoo by Kelly Violet and I don't know, when I saw that I was just like, holy shit, that's amazing, like it's amazing, I love the whole idea of something coming up from your arm going onto your neck and I couldn't get that image off of my mind and I just kept looking, it sounds so weird, but I just kept looking at Emily's tattoo over like the few months and since starting this and I was just like, I'm gonna know about it. Anyway, um, I think it was on the Wednesday, or was it the Tuesday? I can't remember, either the Tuesday before I got tattooed or the Wednesday, like on the same week kind of thing. Hang on, I've got, where's my phone? Let me get a calendar instead of ram rambling some bullshit. So yeah, it was either the 3rd or the 4th of March. I emailed Heidi saying like, I'm all good for the appointment on Friday. Um, is there any chance like when we're maybe done with my arm that we can go up on to my neck? And I sent her a couple of reference photos. And I said that maybe at some point I would want to go onto my chest and just make a full on chest piece. And she sent me one design and I wasn't, like I liked it but I wasn't too sure on it. I was just like, mm, I don't know. Um, but then she sent me what I have on my neck now and I was just like, oh my God. Like, yes, that's it, that's perfect. It's amazing, I love it so, so much. Yes, please, let's do this. And then I kind of thought, oh, we'll do it once my arm is done because I thought I was going in there to get like the top half of this arm finished because there's like, some detailing needing and some needing, some detail needed to be done and some more black work and stuff like that because it did go up onto my shoulder here and that kind of needs like some work and stuff like that. So I thought I was going in to do that. Heidi had some other plans for me, which is not a problem at all. So I got into the studio, Femme Fatal, and she was like, oh, are you ready for today? And I thought she was all about my arm. I was like, oh yeah, you know, like, yeah, it's gonna be great. And then she whacked out this big flower that was the flower that she sent me through email and I was like, oh my god, she's doing my neck. She's doing my neck today. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. My neck is being done today. And like, to me that is actually a good thing because I didn't have time to like scare myself out or anything like that. Like I've turned up and thinking I'll get my arm tattooed, but she's actually tattooing my neck. And I was just like, 
like you know you just don't have time to think about it i think that was a good thing for me i don't know if other people would be okay with that i don't know but for me oh my god that helped me so much i was like okay cool yeah all right yeah let's do this <laughs> um but oh the best surprise honestly i just oh. I'm so in love with this. Okay, anyway, let's talk about the day. So as you guys know from me saying, I had no idea I was getting my neck tattooed. And I kind of just went about my day, I got ready. I headed into London. I got a McDonald's for breakfast slash lunch, whatever you want to call it, brunch, I don't know. And I ate that, it was yummy, it was good. I bought like three bottles of LucasAid, uh, a packet of crisps, a caramel chocolate shortbread, some fruit pastels, and a Kinder Bueno, just for snacks to keep me going. Um, which, you know, is always helpful. I have got the itchiest elbow. What is going on, fam? Are we all right? So I headed to the studio and like I said, I didn't know I was getting my neck tattooed and we were like, she whacked it out. And then um, she basically like, you know, shaved me up and stuff like that. And I think she had to shave off a little bit of my hairline, just at the back, nowhere else. But I think she just clipped off a teeny little bit just so like a leaf or a petal could sit better. And instead of moving the whole stencil down, she kind of was like, I'm just gonna cut your hair. And I was like, do what you like, love. Like, I don't mind. So that was that. And she put the stencil on. I think she managed to do the stencil in one go. Yeah, we, she kind of discussed like where I wanted the placement. Like if I wanted it more on towards my chest and then going up my neck or do I want it full on on my neck and doing the whole like jawline thing. And I was just like, let's do the jawline thing. Like, fuck it, go big or go home, right? Like if we're gonna do this, let's do this properly, right? Let's just put it on my neck. So she did all the stencil and stuff like that and we waited like 15 minutes for the stencil to sit and stuff just so she has a good guideline and so the stencil doesn't go all over the place and what have you. And I was texting people and I was taking photos on Instagram like, uh, okay, let's do this. Like, and everyone's like, but you just said you were gonna get your arm tattooed. Cause I literally, I was on the train. I was just like, off to get my arm tattooed. And then I put a post up of my neck and people were like, that's not your arm. <laughs> Are you okay? And I'm like, I know, sorry. But yes, that all settled in. And then she started tattooing me. Oh boy, I, it, oh yeah, no. Neck tattoos. What's this sleeve doing? Are we all right? Neck tattoos. <laughs> Honestly, 10 out of 10 did not have the best time. It was awful, it was painful. I don't wanna scare anyone that's getting their neck tattooed. I don't wanna put anyone off, but it is awful. It was the most painful tattoo I've had. And I've had, you know, at this point, a lot of painful places tattooed. I've been saying hands are pretty painful, ankle area is kind of painful, calf is awful, fingers is awful neck though like i have the back of my neck tattooed and i don't remember it being that bad to be honest it wasn't that bad but oh, all of this all of this not fun for anybody absolutely oh my good god i'm sorry 10 out of 10 spice right um so she did the outline to start off with and i've always said outlines are horrific for me i've never enjoyed getting outline tattoos or the outline of a tattoo done it's just awful i'm always begging for shading so to get like the outline of the tattoo. I think I was sat in three different positions throughout the whole tattoo many times. So the first one was me. I think I was basically just laying on a tattoo bed, but with my neck like this. So like, I think I had a cushion underneath my neck and I had to kind of put my neck up a bit. So there was a gap between my neck and the bed type thing. So I kind of had to bend my neck. So instead of like laying flat, I had to accentuate my neck like that. And that wasn't too bad, to be honest with you. That wasn't uncomfortable. And then she, I think she had me laying on my side like this so she could get round to the back and in the, like this bit. Do you know what? This is the worst day for me to wear hair extensions in the front of my head, isn't it? But like she had me like laid to my side just so she could get like in here and stuff like that all up in this bit. And then I think the worst position she had me in, sounds a bit weird, was like I was laying on the bed, but then I had my head dangling off so she can get right up again into like the throat and chest area so like my chin and my double chin wasn't all in the way so she could do like this bit down here and let me tell you guys if you can sit through a chest tattoo you can sit through anything i could not believe how painful this bit like collarbone and on like the hard bit of your chest is that was the worst bit for me 
that was honestly like, if you can sit through a chest tattoo let me tell you you can sit through anything if you're scared to get a back tattoo a hand tattoo a rib tattoo and you have your chest tattooed you're fine honestly you have done the worst in my opinion chest tattoos are not fun i could not believe how painful it was like what the fuck i was not expecting that at all so yeah once she's done all the outline and that uh, we took a 15 minute break i had just like some chocolate and a lucas aid and kind of just chilled out and i was texting everyone like oh my god my life's over because i had so i knew i had so many more hours ahead of me and you know we're just like oh my god here we go like i'm i'm up for hell right now in the first break that we had because i can't remember if i had two breaks or three breaks i think it was only two breaks both of which were 15 minutes um, but there was Bactine sprayed on me at some point. But she sprayed this Bactine on me, which is meant to numb. It's got like a numbing agent to, to it. Um, it stung like hell, and I don't really think it did much for me, unfortunately. But the tattoo artist that gave Heidi it to give to me, like to spray on and stuff, she was so sweet because it wasn't Heidi's, it was another tattoo artist. I can't remember her name, it might have been Peggy. I'm not sure, but she was an absolute angel. Literally every tattoo artist in there that would come up and had a look and stuff was like, oh yeah, okay, casual neck tattoo. And I'm like, <laughs> not casual <laughs> i'm dying <laughs> um but yeah so the spray stuff didn't really help at all or oh, i was just i'd gone way past the point of like having hope in something not hurting if that makes any sense so anyway she was doing all the shade and stuff like that and it was getting to the point where i was just like just unbearable very 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 close to tapping out and i've never actually no the only other time i've come close to tapping out was with this hand tattoo because that hurt like actual hell as well. Um, I think it's just the black work situation, like it's heavy black work, so it just hurts, I don't know. Like bless Heidi, she was doing her absolute best to do it sufficiently, quickly, and she was like asking me if I'm okay and stuff like that, and she was like, oh God, yeah, I know it hurts, because she has like this big neck tattoo that comes over to this side, and it comes like all the way down to her chest as well, so she knew exactly what I was going through, and she's like, I know, it sucks, it sucks, like it really sucks, I was like, yes. It really sucks. Um, but I was kind of just sitting there and just trying to be as still as I most possibly could because then that means she can get stuff done quicker instead of wriggling around asking for breaks and stuff like that. I was just like, I want to get this over and done with. So then we had a second break and I ate a lot more food because I started to feel myself like deteriorating and my want to be tattooed was like at an all time low because <laughs> normally I'm like, I don't care, I'll just sit and get tattooed. But I was ready to go home basically. Um, so I ate more, hoping that would make me feel better. And then, bless Heidi, I have a confession to make. I have a confession. I'm Usher, these are my confessions. <laughs> she put numbing cream on me. This was the first time I had ever had numbing cream on me. And oh my God, that stuff is amazing. I have never once in my whole entire tattoo getting life use numbing cream i've always been like ah now like there's no point i can handle it i don't think it would ever work like i couldn't imagine there's gonna be much difference i've always just been like meh about the whole thing i haven't got a problem with anyone else using it or anything like that i just for me i didn't see the point of me doing it because i know i can sit through a tattoo so i was just like meh you know whatever oh no <laughs> oh my god this stuff is amazing so she used that tktx stuff i believe you can get it on like ebay wish and other places it was on me for about 15 minutes and she wrapped me up with cling film she took off the cling film and then we started like tattooing again i had to be like hang on wait are you tattooing me right now like i did not know she was tattooing me i was that numb i was like oh my god like if i had this on me from the beginning my life would have been fantastic but i'm kind of glad it was something that i did halfway through the tattoo so i could have experienced what it's like to get a neck chest throat tattoo and then it's kind of like okay white flag i give up and then like the numbing cream went on and it was a breeze after that there was a few bits where like the numbing cream hadn't settled incorrectly like heidi had definitely rubbed me up like wait what but she, what i mean is like she had smothered me in this numbing cream and there was a few places where my body just didn't take to it or something so when she was going back onto my chest again oh my good god it's literally the weirdest feeling to go from numb to extreme pain and i wasn't about that i was just like oh fuck 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 i got to a point when when she was going back onto my chest i was like oh my god you're going on my chest again she's like yeah and i'm like oh my god and i i'm not an audible person when it comes to pain like tattoo pain i normally just sit there and shut the fuck up but i was like fuck 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 oh my god this really fucking hurts and then i can breathe every time she finished 
I was like, <gasps> like that. She's like, you're all right. I'm like, yeah, it just really hurts. Honestly, I became such a baby. I couldn't, I just, I will put my hands up. I'm normally like, oh, I'm a tough person. I can take it. No, <laughs> I couldn't take it. It was not fun. Um, but I'm so glad that the numbing cream come into play and I managed to finish it all in one day. Uh, my appointment was at 12 but I don't think we started tattooing until just before one and I don't think we finished tattooing until about seven add in like the two 15 minute breaks so I was being tattooed on my neck chest throat for about six and a half hours ish um yeah so I'm glad that's done <laughs> I won't have to do that again uh, a few people have asked me like what's going to happen to this side of my neck because there's like a gap here and stuff and it kind of only comes to about there <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm probably just gonna get something traditional on this side just to match up with this sleeve, which is traditional. So I'm gonna have like traditional stuff up on this bit. And then this black work stuff has just come over to here, which is a mood and a vibe. I'm all about it. Heidi put on Dermalize onto me. Like she let me sit and just let the redness chill out. She wanted to get some like good photos and videos and stuff like that. So, I mean, I had no plans. I was happy to chill in a studio. You guys know me, that's like my happy place. So I was just chilling and then she put Dermalize on me. Well, she took, some photos and videos and stuff like that. And then she put Dermalize on me. It was good for like the first day, two days. By Sunday, I had to rip that stuff off. I couldn't physically, one, I couldn't move. I'm still struggling to move a little bit with my neck. I can move to about here. And then it gets a bit painful and I can move to about here. And it's just, it's just, at the minute, it's just really, really tight and it is disgustingly scabby and dry. We're in that phase. I'm sick of the smell of hustle butter because it's literally right, it goes all the way over here and on my chest and it's all I can smell. Ugh, I'm getting sick of it. But hustle butter is like, in my opinion, one of the best tattoo aftercare creams. So there's that. The Dermalize, I took it off. I was at Tom's and I just, I was just like, I have to take this off. I cannot function with this on me like it restricted my movement so much and it made the tattoo so much more sore in my opinion because once i took it off i felt so free and yeah she did give me more to put on but i kind of just took the judgment in my own hands i was like you know what like i, I can't do this it was making me miserable i mean i was miserable anyway because the day after i felt like actual crap i had tattoo flu times 10 and then add that on with like a whole neck ache and not being able to move and oh god it was the first two three days were touch and go i'm not gonna lie to you guys but i'm now on wednesday so i've had this tattoo let's say saturday is like the first day or whatever um one, two, three, four, five. So I'm on the fifth day. This is scabbing up very quickly compared to other tattoos I've had. Like this was scabby from around about, I wanna say Monday night, Tuesday morning when it started to get really dry and crispy and it was just not nice. And now I'm flaking everywhere. Like it's scabbing up and healing very quickly. But like if I just like put my hand on it, I don't know if you guys will see that, but I've got like black flakes on my hand. Like it's just, yeah, I'm producing gothic snow again. I'm flaking all over the place. Um, so I'm gonna say this is gonna be in the first stages of healed by the end of next week. And what I mean by that is there's gonna be like no scabs and no dry skin, but it does take about a month to two months for my tattoos to really settle in and, you know, get rid of that like shiny brand new look. But overall, long story short, yes, it was very painful. Yes, it was my most painful tattoo. Took six and a half hours, used Dermalize for the first two, three days, took it off, I'm now using Hustle Butter, I'm now scabby and it, oh my God, the itchiness is driving me insane. Like there is nothing worse than having an itchy under double chin. Like, <laughs> it's not fun. The cost of the tattoo, so Heidi charges 500 pounds for a day session, which is nothing unusual, so that's how much I paid. Um, my next appointment, unfortunately, isn't until the 3rd of June. So on the 3rd of June, I think we'll be tackling up this area i don't know though don't hold me to it because it could change i mean i've got no plans to do anything else but yeah that's when the rest of this is going to be completed she did have some more appointments but because i'm going on holiday on the 7th of may i didn't want anything too close to that 
I don't want to have a brand new tattoo and then go on holiday. That's just not, I, I can't be bored with that. So yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this kind of situation. Do you guys have a chest tattoo or a neck tattoo? Is it something you want to do in the future? Or is it something you've got booked? I'd love to know about your most painful tattoos. Have you almost nearly tapped out? Just discuss very painful tattoos down below. Don't make me feel so alone with being like, oh, oh my God, this is like horrifically painful. Have you ever used numbing cream? What are your thoughts on numbing cream? Did you enjoy it? Honestly, I think I'm converted. I'm not gonna lie to you. And when I get my knees tattooed in the future, oh, you best believe I'm using numbing cream. I'm not doing any painful tattoos from now on without numbing cream. Let me tell you, as long as the artist is okay with it, because I know some artists are like a bit iffy about tattoo cream because it can do stuff to your skin and stuff. Some artists say yes some say you know no that's just a myth so it, it depends per eyes obviously um but yeah um thank you so much for listening to me ramble about my neck i'll leave a link down below to heidi's instagram page make sure you go and check out her work she is amazing at black work tattoos and floral nature stuff she's honestly amazing and i highly recommend her she's like super passionate about her work and stuff like that and yeah anyway i hope you guys are all doing very very well and until my next video bye